Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and today we're going to be reading another book off of the Chickadee nominee list. Today's book is called This Very Tree. This Very Tree, a story of 9-11 resilience and regrowth by Sean Rubin. So this is a story about a real tree that lasted through the disasters of 9-11 in 2001. The title, This Very Tree, is based off a poem by E.B. White. E.B. White wrote it about a tree in New York City, but about a different tree. This one is a pear tree. This poem was written in 1949. There's an old willow tree that presides over an interior garden. It is a battered tree, long suffering and much climbed held together by strands of wire, but beloved by those who know it. In a way, it symbolizes the city, life under difficulties, growth against odds, sap rise in the midst of concrete, and the steady reaching for the sun. Whenever I look at it nowadays and feel the cold shadows of the plains, like the flatlands, not an airplane, I think, this must be saved, this particular thing, this very tree. And this story is dedicated in memory to everyone who we lost on September 11th, 2001, and dedicated to the people who, after the towers fell, picked up the pieces, planted a forest, and built a new city, especially my cousin, Stephen Adio. All right, let's see. Oh. Here we start our story. In New York City, there once stood two towers. For a time, they were the tallest buildings in the world. Below the towers was a busy plaza. Do you see this area here? This is called a plaza. It's the big open space in a city or town in between buildings. So this is the plaza here. That's where I was planted. That's where the tree lives. Most people came to my plaza, had a job in the city, and I had a job too. My leaves gave people shade. My branches gave birds a place to rest. And each year, I was one of the first to blossom. My flowers let everyone know that spring was coming. Do you see the blossoms coming out? I think we might even start to see blossoms soon. Some trees like a quiet park or forest, but I was a city tree. I liked the sound of the wind rushing between the tall buildings. I liked the smell of the rain on concrete in the summer. I liked being in my plaza, watching everyone coming and going. I was in my plaza the day it happened. It was an ordinary morning until it wasn't. Uh -oh. You see the sky has gotten dark and then we have some firefighters coming in to help everyone. Here we are, it's kind of a scary picture. Some airplanes have crashed into the tall, tall towers and it's caused a fire and some of the buildings starting to fall over. I waited there. Around me, it was dark and hot and close. Did the sun even exist anymore? Do you know why it might be so dark for that tree? What might cause the darkness? There are a couple of things. One, the fire was causing lots and lots of smoke and also the building had fallen down around the tree and around people too. And then there was light and it grew bigger and bigger and bigger. When I came back into the light, I knew that everything had changed. The new noises and smells of the city scared me. They reminded me of what had happened. Can you see all the helpers trying to get people out of the rubble? There's big excavators and other trucks around. 
and lots and lots of people helping out, trying to get people to safety. Some people put me on a truck and drove me to a nursery in a faraway park. I was grateful to be somewhere quiet. I had changed too. Do you see all the branches have been cut back? Probably because of the fire and different things falling on them. So they look a lot different after that. All winter, the people at the nursery took care of me. No one knew if my leaves would come back, but they did. Here they come. I was peaceful in the park. I was surrounded by other trees. Birds still visited me. That first spring, a dove made a nest in my branches. Years passed, I regrew. I wondered if my city was regrowing too. And do you see here, these are some cool pictures of what's happening while the tree is away. This is happening off where the tree is outside of the city, but in the city, are things being rebuilt? They sure are. So things are growing and repairing just while the tree is doing the same thing. And I would imagine while people are doing that too. When scary things happen, they really sit with us. But talking about them and working through them and giving lots of hugs to others helps us try to rebuild and not be as scared of those things that have happened. Sometimes when a shadow passed overhead, I thought about what had happened. But being surrounded by the other trees made me feel stronger. Some days I even felt strong enough to do my old job again. That's when I knew I was ready. It was time to go home. Here come people with, can you see what this is? Shovels, shovels to dig back. A machine came and pulled me out of the ground. The noise scared me. Leaving scared me even more. But we drove down throughout the city. Now I was worried to go back. What if something bad happened again? and I already missed the other trees. Then I saw it. That's the new building they've been making. One shining spire and many more towers surrounding a new plaza. And in that plaza, they had planted a forest. It was filled with trees. Oh, look. Look at all the trees that have grown up around. Between the trees, they saved three empty spots. Two spots, one, two, remain where the towers once stood. They would stay empty forever because nothing could fill them. The third spot was just for me. So they brought the tree back, but they're leaving the spots where the two towers were that fell in honor of the people that we lost and to remind us that nothing will ever replace what we had there and the people we had. So there are places for people to honor those we lost. I wasn't comfortable at first. It had been so long since I'd heard the wind blowing between the buildings or smelled wet concrete but I was still surrounded by other trees and that made me feel stronger. That's why it's so important for us to tell people how we feel and to be around others and let them know what we need and, and how they can help because we can all support each other, just like the trees help each other feel better. Anyone who felt a shadow overhead could stand under my leaves and find peace. So the tree now gets to help the people that are sad too. They can help each other. Anyone who was hurt could see how my branches had healed and find hope. In my plaza, 
filled with so many trees, I am still the first to blossom. And everyone who sees my flowers knows that spring will come. The end. So this is a story about a real event that happened on September 11th in 2001. It was very scary and we lost people. And it's something that sticks with us. We think about it, it sticks with us. People have sadness or fear about it, but together, we can help each other, comfort each other when we're feeling sad, give hugs, talk about our feelings, and together we can regrow our, our strength and our hearts and help each other. Now there is more if you wanna check out this book at the library or buy it. The author's note about growing up in New York City and also a history on the 9-11 events. I'm going to skip over this because of my younger audience, but I highly encourage those interested to check out this book and read a little bit more about 9-11 and this very tree. Thank you all for listening and I hope you have the most wonderful day and don't forget to talk about your feelings with others and if you like hugs, maybe give some hugs today. Love you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.